As a big-bodied defensive defenseman, it's no secret what kind of role Mitchell Chapman plays on the Kelowna Rockets. I'm a big guy, shut down defenseman. Um, coaches have me lined up against their top lines usually, and I take pride in trying to keep them off the scoreboard every game. So that's, that's my biggest role, be a physical guy and uh, try to be an impact on the bench in the room. It's that talk, both on and off the ice, that has made Chapman a pleasant surprise this season for the Rockets coaching staff. One of the biggest things he's bringing is the leadership in the dressing room. He's always constantly a voice you hear in there saying good things and kind of reiterating the, th the message that we're trying to get across. And that's a huge thing for uh, coaches is when you have a leader in the room that's, you know, kind of got your back and, and preaching the same things that you are. The six foot three, 230 pounder is a punishing hitter who can intimidate forwards and clear the crease out for his goalie. I don't take pride in thinking I'm too flashy or uh, too skilled out there, so I just try to do my best and make make an early pass, let my goalie see shots, and uh, just be be a hard guy to play against. He's going to have to be on the body all the time, you know, finishing his checks, and and like you mentioned, a guy that you know, Fords don't want to come in the crease area with, and if he can make our goaltender's job any easier, then, he, then he's having a good night. Chapman has been dropping the mitts more frequently this season. His 75 penalty minutes leads the team by a wide margin, and he's on his way to shattering his season high mark of 105 set two years ago. Maybe intimidate the other team a little bit more, um, show them that I'm, I'm not afraid to fight anyone in the league, so it's, it's something I like to bring to the team to help out when, uh, you know, some guy gets hurt dirty or anything like that. Chapman has a good work ethic, especially in the weight room, and he's been rewarded for it this season. There's still things that he can work on and continually get better, but I think Chappie's a guy in the gym that uh, works hard, and uh, definitely this year I th I've seen a little change on him on the ice. He's, he's a lot more willing to, to work at things, and uh, the improvements are there. He's seen him, and I, I think uh, his extra work is definitely paying off. For his size, he is a surprisingly good skater and has been used on occasion as a power forward. He was a guy that last year, you know, at times we'd throw him up front to get some energy going too because he can skate so well. It's, it's nice to have that body that can get out there and if you need a big hit that can maybe turn the momentum in the game or, or if your team's sitting back on their heels, it, it gets them going a bit. So he's done a great job for us and uh, he's playing to his strengths. I do take pride in my, in my skating. Um, I've worked on that a lot when I was a little bit younger, um, especially over the last couple seasons. I've really been working on that and, and getting getting better and foot speed's huge. I mean, I'm not going to try to put on weight or put on size if I can't come back with the, the foot speed. Perhaps he gets his good wheels from watching vintage footage of one of the game's greatest skaters. I actually grew up loving Bobby Orr with, with the Boston Bruins a long time ago, but uh, now I've been modeling my game after Chris Pronger. He's a, he's a tough guy to play against. He's a big physical guy and, and no one likes playing against him. You're too young for Orr, though. You never watched him play. I, I watched some game tapes. Uh, a little while, but uh, no, he's, he's a great player. I used to play with play like him a lot, uh, jumping up the ice, but not, not anymore. Chapman likes to play the drums in his downtime, a little jazz and rock and roll. You can get to know him better by following him on Twitter at Chapstar5.